Soma, my daughter, where have you been each night? I have been told of your visit to the river banks and your conversation with someone unseen. What is happening? And why are you risking your life in the darkness? The queen inquired, her voice a blend of maternal worry and authority. The queen's eyes born into summer, awaiting an explanation. The princess hesitated, her mind racing, as she grappled with the weight of her secret. After a moment of tense silence, Summer looked at her mother with a mixture of sadness and reluctance. Mother, I, I cannot fully explain now, but please, trust that what I am doing is for the good of our kingdom. In the heart of the eastern part of Nigeria, nestled among the lush forests and winding rivers, there lay the Etiti Kingdom, known for its vibrant culture, traditions, and a remarkable princess named Soma. She was the jewel of the kingdom, graced with beauty that revealed the most enchanting sunrise. One fateful evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, Soma went for a luxury stroll along the river banks that bordered the kingdom. The sky was painted in the hues of pink and orange, casting a golden glow upon the tranquil waters. As she walked, she sang a sweet melody, her voice echoing through the serene landscape. Unknown to her, a ghost figure watched her from the shadows, his eyes filled with sorrow and longing. His name was Emeka, a noble warrior of Etiti Kingdom, who had been unjustly killed in a battle that took place years ago. He had returned from the spirit world, driven by a deep desire for revenge against those who had betrayed him. Emeka followed Soma, drowned by her captivating beauty and enchanting voice. He could not help but fall in love with her, a love that transcended the realms of the living and the dead. Night after night, he would watch the princess, unseen and unheard, as she continued her evening strolls. As the days turned into weeks, Summer began to feel a strange presence around her, a feeling of being watched. She confided in her closest friend, Oma, who advised her to be conscious and to avoid the river banks after dark. But Summer's curiosity and the mysterious allure of her unseen admirer drew her back to the river banks each night. Emeka, desperate to connect with Summer, began leaving small gifts for her, delicate flowers and intricately carved wooden figures, carefully arranged on the river bank's smooth stones. Soma found these gifts and was both puzzled and intrigued by their source. She decided to set a trap to uncover the identity of her secret admirer. One night, as she sang her enchanting melody, Soma suddenly pretended to trip and fall into the river. Emeka, unable to bear the thought of her being in danger, rushed to her head. His ghostly form shimmering with consign. He pulled her from the water and held her close. His touch as cold as the river itself. Are you all right, princess? I couldn't bear to see you hurt. Emeka's voice carried a mixture of consign and a distant echo of sorrow. Soma, shivering from the icy touch, stammered, Who, who, who are you? Who, what are you? I am a maker, a warrior of the Titi Kingdom, but now, a spirit. He replied, his form freckling faintly. I watch over you, for my heart has been captivated by your grace. Soma, both fascinated and fearful, 
whispered why do you watch me what do you want emeka's eyes softened with a melancholic longing i desire your safety your happiness but i am consumed by your quest for vengeance against those who wronged me their exchange revealed emeka's tragic tale of betrayal and his hunting quest for retribution mingled with an undying love for summer a love trapped between realms as summer and emeka continued their nightly rendezvous by the river banks their connection deepened the princess despite the ill circumstances found herself drawn to the ghostly warrior emeka in turn shared more of his tragic tale revealing the names of those who had betrayed him in the mortal realm one moonlight night surrounded by the gentle rustling of leaves and the distant sounds of the kingdom some man declared emeka i cannot bear to see you suffer in the shadows i promise to help you seek justice for the wrongs done to you together we shall find a way to bring peace to your restless spirit emeka's etira eyes flickered with a mix of gratitude and affection princess your kindness and courage warm my spectral heart i never thought i could find solace in the company of the living as summa and the maker forged their plan for justice unknown to them the queen grew increasingly concerned about her daughter's mysterious nightly excursions unable to contain her worry she summoned one of the kingdom's vigilant guards and instructed follow prince insoma discreetly report back to me with whatever you discover guard a loyal servant to the queen nodded and set out to observe the princess's nocturnal activities night after night he trod soma to the river banks witnessing the exchanges between the princess and the unseen maker the guard marveled at the unearthly love that seemed to blossom between them upon returning to the palace the guard approached the queen with a solemn expression your majesty i have observed princess soma leaving the palace each night she goes to the river banks and engages in heartfelt conversation with an unseen presence she even professed love and made promises to this mysterious figure the queen her brow furrowing with concern asked what do you mean unseen presence explain yourself the guard recounted in detail the spectral encounters witnessed on the river banks describing emeka's ghostly form and the princess's sincere expressions of love and determination to help him seek justice the queen torn between worry for her daughter and the unfolding supernatural saga decided to wait for summer's return that night as the princess entered the palace in the early hours of dawn the queen confronted her her eyes reflecting a mixture of concern and curiosity soma my daughter where have you been each night i have been told of your visit to the river banks and your conversation with someone unseen what is happening and why are you risking your life in the darkness the queen inquired her voice a blend of maternal worry and authority the queen's eyes burned into summer awaiting an explanation the princess hesitated her mind racing as she grappled with the weight of her secret after a moment of tense silence summer looked at her mother with a mixture of sadness and reluctance mother i i cannot fully explain now but please trust that what i am doing is for the good of our kingdom her voice trembling with the burden of the truth she couldn't reveal the queen perplexed and worried implored soma you must tell me the truth i cannot bear to see you caught in something that could harm you or our people but soma unable to disclose the supernatural connection she shared with emeka simply shook her head and left the queen's presence leaving her mother in a state of concern and confusion the next day 
Summer returned to the river banks to find Emeka, waiting. His spectral form flickering with a gentle glow. She shared the encounter with her mother, her eyes filled with sorrow. Emeka, understanding the gravity of the situation, wished part. I knew that this day would come. We must walk swiftly to uncover the truth and bring justice to those who wronged me. Soma, my love, I need your help now more than ever. Soma nodded, determination gleaming in her eyes. Emeka, I am ready to assist you in any way I can. We will expose the truth and bring justice to your restless spirit. Emeka smiled, a ghostly reflection of gratitude on his ethereal face. We shall begin our quest tonight. The answers lie hidden in the shadows, but together we can bring them to light. As the sun dipped below the horizon, Summer and Emeka embarked on a journey to unravel the secrets of Emeka's betrayal. The princess, now driven by a dual purpose, to protect her kingdom and to bring peace to the ghostly warrior she had grown to love, walked into the night with determination in her heart. The moon hung high in the sky as Summer and the Mecca made their way to the village market square. The air was thick with tension and the freaking lanterns cast long shadows on the cobblestone paths. As they reached the heart of the village, Emeka gently halted Summer, his ghostly form glimmering in the dim light. Summer, the truth you seek lies within the walls of the palace. The king, your father, holds the key to the injustice that befell me. Summer eyes, wide with disbelief, questioned, My father? No, it cannot be. Why would he be involved in such treachery? Emeka sighed, recounting the painful tale 